You know, every once in a while, something comes along in life that you just kind of go, wow, this is really cool. The read and react offense, if done according to the way that Rick has it laid out, will enable coaches to teach kids how to play the game the way it should be played. It's groundbreaking. I believe it's the future of developmental basketball. That's one thing I think that's great about your concept and your ideas is, is that it's not so complicated that they can't pick it up relatively quick, but it is complicated enough that, that it's hard to guard and it's not as easily scoutable. I think the novelty of it is that it is simple from the standpoint of, of understanding and teaching, but certainly would not be simple to defend. The read and react offense is the total package. I looked at it as a, a really an equalizer. Everything that's involved in here can help any type of player, and really it'll, it'll make a coach a better coach. It was kind of refreshing to see a tape like this where it wasn't plays anymore, it wasn't scripted, it was about how to play. Rick, I think this is the most groundbreaking thing in basketball since the motion offense. Um, ten years from now, every coach in America will be either running this offense or some aspects of it. This is something that is new, that is refreshing, and I guess the enthusiasm of our players uh, really was the thing that I really, really like about it. We see that the game is going to continue to evolve, and uh, you just have to be abreast of what changes are being made so that you're not left out and not understanding what teams are doing and how the game is, uh, is in evolving itself. I needed an offense where I could teach the more experienced players how to play, and the kids that, you know, had very little game experience how to play. And this is a perfect offense for that. The beauty of read and react is, coach, they're in, they're in man, coach, they're in zone. Those days are gone. The biggest thing for us is it's easy to teach. We're not teaching you an offense, we're just teaching you offense. It's much like a pickup game between veteran players that are not running a set offense. You see good offensive movement, you see good offensive spacing, you see good offensive fundamentals, and you put it all together and you have good offense. Better Basketball, home of the sport's preeminent improvement videos, presents a revolutionary offensive approach, a unique system that consists of 17 layers that build upon each other. The result is not just a single offensive scheme, but an adjustable framework that allows you, the coach, to take advantage of your team's strengths and play whatever type of basketball you prefer. Coach Rick Torbett's Read and React Offense. Over the next few minutes, you'll learn a little about the Read and React system, how your team can apply it, and you'll hear from a few of the coaches already running and recommending it. Let's get started learning about Better Basketball's Read and React Offense. If you're a power basketball coach and you're running probably with two post, then you are able to still incorporate the Read and React with two post offensive players. I like it at the varsity level because it can go from a five out to a four out to a three out at my call or the kids can do it themselves. I can run this offense regardless of my personnel year to year. If I have a big time post player, then maybe the majority of the time we run a four out. If I get blessed with a bunch of guards, you know, then we can run more of a five out and I never have to change what I'm doing. The first benefit of the Read and React system is that it can be customized to both your offensive philosophy and your personnel. As an example, if you want to focus your offense on two dominant post players, run the system with a three out, two in set and pound the ball inside. But if those post players graduate or one just gets in foul trouble, you can still run the Read and React with a four out, one in set or a five out set and focus your attack on penetration and perimeter shooting. In addition, you can continue to use your favorite set plays, knowing that if they're stopped, your players will continue to play with a coordinated five-man attack using their read and react principles. It incorporates, how can you score? Can you score off a double down? Can you score off staggers? Can you score off baseline screens? Can you score off pin downs? Can you score out a high low? Can you score off ball screens? Can you score off behind screens? Can you score off dribble penetration? Is there opportunities for give and go? You know. Uh, uh, and out of this, you can get all of it. The read and react offense will create effective movement from your team and a lot of it. The offense is based on the players without the ball, reading the player with the ball and reacting with a predetermined movement. 
These reads and reactions create give and goes, European threes, dribble handoffs, UCLA cuts, even double and triple staggered screens. And this five-man movement doesn't come from complicated patterns that can be messed up by a single player, nor set plays that can be scouted by your opponent. Instead, you'll drill simple two-man reads and reactions into your players to the point of habit to produce effective, principled basketball. Another aspect of the read and react offense is that it has so much versatility to it. If you want to go small and you want to play five out, easy. You can still do it. You want to play one out and one in and four out, easy. You can do it. You want to play two in and three out, no problem. You can do it. And all of the concepts and the principles that Rick talks about can be utilized regardless of the setup that you have. I mean, that's just absolutely incredible. And it can be effective against the zone as well. This, I'm telling you, you have to take a look at the read and react offense. If anybody looks at this and doesn't think that this is one of the most innovative concepts to come along in the game of basketball, please tell me about it and tell me that if you know something a little bit better. I'd really like to see it. With the read and react system, you can run the same offense all the time, regardless of your opponent's defense. In fact, your players will only have to make one minor adjustment to combat a zone. So the techniques you drill every day in practice will work for you no matter what your opponent does. The end result is that rather than asking your players to execute a multitude of offenses and perhaps never master any of them, your team will only have to master one system, a system dynamic enough to counter any defense you face. We really didn't need to get past the first three or four layers just because of, for one, the, the simplicity of Read and React and the effectiveness. Okay, we're going to teach it throughout the program. Every level, sixth and seventh grade team, eighth grade team, freshman team, JV team, varsity team, everybody's running the, the exact same thing. It's really crazy to think what's it going to be like in three or four years. Perhaps the most powerful aspect of the read and react offense is that its layered system can be used to develop players and teams in a building block progression. For example, let's say you're a high school coach running an entire program. You run layers one through five with your youth teams, giving them a workable offense to learn proper spacing and get good movement without the ball. They wouldn't just be running plays, they'd be learning how to play. Then at the mid-levels, you give them another few layers, adding ball screens and back screens to their fundamental base. Then by varsity, you add the final few layers, giving you a diverse offense, with your players having run its fundamental levels since they were kids. And by the way, if a star player transfers in for his senior season, he could learn only the first few layers without contradicting the habits of his teammates, because no layer in the read and react offense contradicts another layer. You teach every defensive player to react to every movement of the ball. That's what you do with read and react offense. It almost single-handedly forces players to think the game of basketball. There's nothing about read and react that's stifling. What it does is it constantly sets the stage for individual players to be successful. Studies show that most coaches spend 80% of their offensive practice time on plays and patterns, yet 80% of made baskets come from individual execution. The read and react offense takes advantage of this principle, encouraging the player with the ball to use his skills to attack the basket. And he or she can do so knowing that all four of his or her teammates will be in a predetermined spot, thanks to the circle movement, the offense's first layer. The read and react system takes the guesswork out of playing without the ball and gives freedom to your team's best players to score points. I don't know how Rick came up with this, but uh, whatever he, he did to, to create it, I commend him on it because the versatility of this read and react offense is phenomenal. This read and react method has the foundation for offensive basketball covered. The read and react offensive system can be used by teams at all levels, from kids to the pros, boys and girls, men and women. Its layered system is a revolutionary concept that will help you win more games this season and develop your players for the seasons that follow. The six video package explains the theory behind the offense and how to implement it, breaks down all 17 layers, teaches the drills that build the read and react habits while simultaneously building your players' fundamentals 
explains minor changes you can use to customize the offense to your preferences. Interview some of the coaches already running the offense so that you can learn the twists they're putting on it to give their teams more wins. And gives you thoughts and observations on the system from some of basketball's best minds. To learn more about Rick Torbett's Read and React offense, call 1-800-BETTER-B or visit betterbasketball.com.